Today is Saturday, March 9th. I have been up since a little bit before 6 o'clock and now it's 10.30 and I'm barely getting my day started. I had such a long, crazy week. I still feel so worn out. So it's 10.30 now. My daughter just left to go to her dad's house. It's just me and the baby. He did wet his bed last night, so we gotta take all that bedding out and wash it. And I have a whole house that is just destroyed and filthy. So why don't you follow me today? We can clean the house together. I hope this gives you motivation to be cleaning your house with me. It's hard to get started, but after you get started, the whole day just goes so much smoother. So let's do this together. Hello, everyone. We are the Dotsons. I am Joshua. Hi, I'm Clayton. Hi, I'm Bethany. I'm Deborah. Hi, I'm Matt. So I started off this morning by doing my bedroom because I was still in there. I had just gotten ready. I do not wear nice clothes while I'm cleaning my house and I see all these other YouTube girls wearing like the nicest clothes and looking the best. But I clean my bathrooms a lot with bleach. I use quite a bit of bleach in there because I just feel like it's the best cleaner. It cleans everything the fastest and the best and I just don't have time to sit there all day and scrub something. So I just go ahead and wear like old clothes. But Josh's drawers really had to be gone through they could not open or close. It was just a huge mess. So I just spent a little bit of time today rearranging his drawers for him because I know he doesn't have a lot of extra time. And when he does, I know he definitely doesn't want to spend it on refolding his clothes. He's not really that type of person. So I sat down after a while because my back hurt just from bending over like that. It hurt super bad. And then Max thought it would be fun to jump on the bed, which is always fun. So there we go. I told him, reach for the sky. And he was like, Mom, there's a roof. He was so mad. It was so cute. Now we are going into my bathroom. You will see that it is a huge, huge mess today. Um, we did a makeup video earlier this week and so just my everyday makeup I threw into this bag and so I was trying to get everything out and reset my makeup and I had a bunch of dirty clothes. I had a whole bunch of stuff. It was like the worst it's ever looked in a long time. Today was actually the worst my house has looked in quite a while. It was super embarrassing. You like it? Yeah. I love the song. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be around like Dance. I thought this was really cute. Max wanted to help me clean. So he was spraying everything in the bathtub for me and then he came and helped me clean our toilet. I thought that was so cute of him. He did not have to help at all. And I just love that. Now we're moving on to Max's favorite part of household chores and it is throwing the laundry over the balcony. Every time we do this, he goes in same. He thinks it is the coolest thing ever. Yes, the light fixture is moving. Yes, there are clothes that fall on it. Yes, this happens all the time and Josh has to go take them out. But the kids absolutely love it. I did the kids laundry today, which I usually do not do. They are normally in charge of doing their own laundry, but I felt like being nice and I thought I was going to spend my whole day at home. But you will be able to see at the end of this video, that is not how my day turned out. So I basically had a ton of laundry to do and I was only able to complete like three loads. So tomorrow that is going to be on my list of things to do, unfortunately. And I came in 
here, opened up all these windows, treatments, get some natural light in the house, and I started in on my kitchen. Yesterday I splurged a little bit. I got myself some very comfortable heels and a shirt, so I had to put that away along with some flowers. Clean up just a few dishes that we had around, nothing too major. Just kind of take care of the kitchen. It wasn't really bad at all, but I just wanted to make sure I could get a load of dishes going while the rest of my house was being cleaned. <laughs> get so messy so quickly. I feel like every day or two I'm taking everything off these racks and putting them away and by the next day it's already a mess again. It drives me nuts. But this is where we put our backpacks, our lunch pails, jackets, everything like that just so nothing is dragged across the house obviously. These great little things that you see are pieces of Legos. And after stepping on them like seven different times, I decided I had had enough pain in my life and I was just going to put them in a bag. Also, I should mention that Cressa took Max out to McDonald's for me so I could clean a house and have it stay clean for longer than 0.7 seconds. So I super appreciated that. Thank you, Cressa, and thank you, Max, for letting me have a clean house for a couple seconds. <music> Okay, so as you can see, things have kind of changed. I was planning on not leaving my house at all today. I'm doing a full house clean and I was there, I was getting it. Things were going well and my husband gave me a phone call saying he found a car, but he doesn't know how he's gonna pick it up today. They close at seven, but he's supposed to pick up Clayton at seven and he gets out of work at six and he was like freaked out. He didn't know what to do. So I told him like, well, me and Cressa can go take care of it for you. Like, not a big deal. Just make sure I can do it because it's going to be like in your name. Make sure I can do it. And he was like, I don't think that's going to work. And then he calls me back like three minutes later and he's like, yeah, go ahead. All you need is my driver's license and some money and go ahead. Just go pick it up. They don't care if you're not me. So we are on our way to do that. That's in Sacramento. But first we have to get gas because I'm almost out and I'm like crossing my fingers that those people give me a full tank of gas. I'm gonna ask them at least. And I had like one of the best phone conversations with him today. It was so sweet and it made me like just feel so much better about a relationship. Yeah. He called me back after everything was like said yeah, and done. I'm my McDonald's story. One minute, give me a minute, okay? he called me back after everything was like planned for us to go pick up his car for him and he was like i have complete faith in you you know just as much about cars as i do you listen to it you listen for a knock you drive the shit out of it like you do every test imaginable you look through it you negotiate with them you be hardcore like all of the fight that you have in you i want you to use today i know you're better at this than i am like i fully trust you it just made me feel good. It just made me feel really good because before that I was like, what if I get ripped off because I'm a girl and what if they try to take advantage of me and how do I do this? I'm not like some big crazy guy. Like, what if this isn't a good idea? 
and um, it just made me feel good. So we are in the market for a good deal. We're heading to Sacramento, so I hope that they cooperate and they don't give me a hard time. I hope everything just goes well. So if this is meant to be the car that we're supposed to have, we'll get it, and if it's not, we won't, and we'll just look again tomorrow we're, we're, while we're all off work. So anyways, it's been long, it's been chatty. Let's just go up to Sacramento and see how it goes. Ooh. Well guys, thank you for following me today with all of the craziness. I am going to bed tonight with a dirty house and I hate doing that. That to me is like one of the worst feelings in the world. But we lose an hour of sleep tonight. We are helping out at our church tomorrow in the media booth. And it's just been a long, crazy day. Hi. So tomorrow after church, our goals are getting the garage ready for three cars again and a motorcycle and cleaning up the rest of the house that we could not get to today. And I am exhausted. I am so pooped. I am so worn out. But thank you for following us on our crazy day. We love you and we cannot wait to see you till next time. Bye. Hello everyone. We are the Dotsons. I am Joshua. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Bethany. I'm Deborah. Hi, I'm Matt.